Hello everybody, thank you very much for uh, being here to watch another video from um, Joke Media. I'm very pleased to have you in this video, hope that you can enjoy it. Um, welcome back to everyone who is already subscribed. And today we're gonna start working or uh, reviewing documentation about Selenium WebDriver or actually Selenium itself and all its components, alright? Um, I know that I've been working in Test Cafe projects and tutorials about Test Cafe. However, I need uh, a little bit of a break of it, but I will bring more videos about it and make sure to to have you up to date about all the stuff of Test Cafe. All right. So um, let's start working or reviewing the introduction of uh, Selenium. Basically, uh, Selenium is an umbrella project for a range of tools and libraries that enable and support the automation of web browsers, all right? Um, that's basically the introduction of Selenium. Let me show you the, in the next uh, tab what is basically Selenium from my perspective, all right? Um, basically, Selenium uh, controls web browser, all right? It, um, it is a tool set for web browser automation that uses best techniques available to remotely control web browser instances. Um, so therefore, it helps us to emulate a user's interaction with the browser. That's basically Selenium and what it does. It, it is um, a tool that enable us to um, control and emulate a user interaction. Mm, it allow, allows users to simulate common activities performed by end user. Let's give some example. For example, uh, entering text into fields, selecting drop downs values, and checking boxes, and so on. There are a lot of scenarios that we can cover. Mm, it says that it also provides many other controls such as muse, uh, mouse movement, arbitrary JavaScript execution, and uh, much more. That's that's true. Basically, that's a, a true story of <laughs> Selenium, and we will uh, prove that uh, in the future videos. You will see. All right, the next um, text that we have here is, uh, and its uh, header is one interface to rule them all. Um, so let's read. One of the project's guiding principles is to support a common interface for all major browser technologies. Um, however, as, as we know, web browsers are incredibly complex, highly engineered application and um, they perform their operations in completely different ways. Um, so it is frequently uh, to look, or actually it, it, they try to look similarly <laughs> between them, however they may have some differences, uh, even though we have said uh, same font size for them or images must be or we're expected or expecting to have the images displayed in the same place and so on and um, we know that it is a completely <laughs> a completely or it might vary between them so selenium try to uh, abstract the, dif the dis differences and try to um, make easy for an automation engineer and um, to perform different actions um, in a single line of code and Selenium uh, tries to make uh, to interface or interact with the browsers uh, just using the same code. So you, you don't have to um, be worried about um, scripting for different browsers. You only have to script for a, a general website and Selenium will help you to um, interact with different browsers at the same time if it is needed. All right, tools and support. Uh, Selenium minimal, minimalist design approach gives it the versatility to be included as a component in bigger applications. Let's let's continue reading. The surrounding, uh, surrounding infrastructure, infrastructure provided under the Selenium umbrella gives you the tools to put together your grid browser browsers so tests can be run on different browsers and multiple operating systems across a range of machines so it says that basically we may be able to um, have a kind of grid computers or grid of, of browsers actually and perform different tests um, in different web browsers at the same time if it is needed as i just uh, said in the last uh, comment 
uh, and they can be um, run uh, without any problem in parallel and we can have a reporting back when an error occurred so it, it that's basically what uh, we can uh, reach or uh, yes actually we can reach with um, selenium uh, web driver and actually selenium and it's different different uh, component the next header is who, who uses selenium uh, many of the most important companies in the world have adopted selenium for their browser based testing um, let's continue reading as it has grown in popularity so have its requirements and challenges multiplied that's actually true i guess that selenium, selenium has to be updated uh, pretty um pretty fast uh, since uh, we have different changes in technology every single day so um, it is very um, a, a very good challenge for the project since it is an open source project and they are actually uh, always looking for generous donations of time uh, and it has something very interesting that is they have a lot of volunteers and they do every day as a job as, as testers and provide feedback and selenium keeps uh, updated every single day and it is an excellent uh, community so we can uh, be sure that um, we have support and uh, it is actually a continuing update all right the next um, tab is set it says on test automation let's let's see what we have for this uh, for this uh, information here let's make a resume of it and let's see what is important of this. Basically, it says that automation or uh, automating tests with Selenium can be expensive. And it is basically true since uh, we have to hire uh, a variety of uh, um, software automation engineers. So it is actually um, very expensive. We have to uh, provide them maintenance uh, since changes are continuing, uh, are basically, <laughs> uh, um, happening every single day so we have to uh, be sure that we need automation in our project right so basically it says that once you have decided to automate uh, your application and make test cases with a uh, selenium we have to um, to perform uh, the first three steps that we have here it says that the first one is set up the data the second one is perform a discrete set of actions and the third one is evaluate the results it also says that you will want to keep these steps as short as possible um, it is recommended to have to have uh, one or two operations uh, most of the time per test case uh, since um, with this technique we can uh, mitigate apparent uh, intermittent problems in test and Actually, we can overcome uh, these conditions, but it is very and highly recommended to have a small operation, a small quantity of operations uh, in every single test. It says that by keeping your tests short and using the web browser only when you have absolutely no alternative, you can have many tests with minimal flick. Uh, we're trying to avoid errors and have a very stable environment um, a stable uh, automation environment that's that's the main uh, point of this of this um, of this text here actually there is another one uh, there is another tab that I might want to see in this video which is uh, types of testing these are a range and a variety of testing that we can cover with selenium and the first one is acceptance acceptance testing which is um, done to determine determine if a feature or a system meets the customer exp expectation and requirement. This type of testing generally generally involves the customer cooperation or feedback, being a validation activity that answers the question: Are we building the right product? So um, that's a, a type of testing that we can. Uh, done with uh, selenium there's that uh, an important note acceptance testing is a subtype of functional testing which which some people might also refer to
that's good that's a good note next type of testing that we can perform with um, selenium is functional testing what is functional testing this type of testing is done to determine if a feature or a system functions properly um, work without issues uh, it checks the system at different levels to ensure that all the scenarios are covered and the system does what what it's supposed to do right it is a verification activity that answers the question are we building the product right so um, it generally uh, includes the test work without errors for example the 404 or exceptions uh, that we are not expecting and um, in an accessible an accessible way and matching its specification basically the next uh, testing type is performance testing so as its name indicates performance tests are done to me uh, to measure how well a, an application is performing and there are two main subtypes for performance testing which are uh, load testing which is done to verify how well the application works under different defined loads uh, usually a particular number of users connected at once for example it is the main uh, example that we can have for load testing and the next one is stress testing which is done to verify how well the application works under stress uh, for example uh, how it uh, how is the behavior up uh, when it it is working above the maximum supported load the next one is regression testing, one of the most important ones, I guess, um, it is, um, what is regression testing? Let's, let's uh, answer that question. Uh, this testing is generally done after a change, fix or feature addition. Um, this uh, type of testing is, uh, are executed or are made to ensure that the changes hasn't broken any of the existing functionality. Some already executed tests are executed again. Um, the set of re-executed tests can be full or partial and can include several different types depending on the application and development team. I guess that this is one of the most important uh, testing types that we can cover with Selenium and we will see in the future videos why. It is important to say that we can cover also test driven development um which is basically an interactive development methodolo methodology in which tests drive the design of a feature and uh, we can cover this topic in the future too it is a very extensive one uh, also uh, we can cover behavior driving development in the future uh, since they are more ex uh, extensive i guess we can cover a lot of things uh, talking about this but it is important to know that we can cover all these kind of types uh, types of testing with selenium web driver so people thank you very much for watching this video i guess that we have introduced you uh, into the selenium uh, web driver uh, world uh, this is a very theoretical introduction i guess i know that it is <laughs> a lot of theory that we're covered or that we can cover in this video but i try to resume that and give you a quick overview of what is selenium and if you want to see more videos about this if you want to know uh, how selenium works how we can install it um, please subscribe and make uh, uh, and let me know if you like it in the comments below uh, so thank you very much for watching the video and uh, see you soon in the next one goodbye